Imagine a world where reality bends and the ordinary becomes extraordinary. Where you walk to a dance and upon entering you witness people all dancing to their own beat, but there is no music playing. What you thought you knew once feels like a vivid dream. This seems to be a place where the rules of time and space twist into an enigma. Welcome to the Twilight Zone. Oh, no, uh, welcome to the silent disco. Okay, imagine being on a cruise ship in the middle of the ocean surrounded by nothing but water and the rhythmic hum of the engines. And then suddenly you're transported to a world of thumping bass and flashing light. That's exactly what happened when I stumbled upon a silent disco party on board and I just had to see what all the fun was about. When you think of a silent disco, you probably imagine a bunch of people standing around, kind of awkwardly nodding, you know, in their heads to the music and their headphones, but trust me, there is so much more than that. At its core, a silent disco is all about community and connection. You see, everyone's dancing to their own beat, quite literally, with different channels of the headsets playing different genres of music. It's like being part of a secret club where everybody's in on the joke except for the people outside, you know, that can't hear the music. But here's the thing, getting everybody on the same dance vibe, it's no easy feat. I mean, imagine trying to get a group of people that are, you know, all listening to different things to synchronize their dance mood. It's, it's, it's pretty crazy, and that's not really the goal. It's all about just being there and having fun, and it is a lot of fun. Uh, trying to get everybody together is like trying to get a bunch of cats to do tricks at the same time. Just not gonna happen. And yet, that's exactly what makes a silent disco so magical, I guess would be the word. The uncertainty, the unpredictability, it all adds up to the excitement, and I would be remiss to not state that this was on no other than the big nude boat, so that, you know, that was an extra bonus. Uh, as I made my way onto the dance floor, I was, I was handed a pair of sleek headphones, and they, they lit up with different colored flashing lights depending on what channel you were in. Uh, I popped them on and I was immediately transported in a world of pulsating beats and infectious energy. The music options were vast from house to techno to good old fashioned pop, some oldies, you know, about everything. I opted for a channel that seemed to be playing an interesting remix of a classic hit. And before I knew it, I was grooving along with the best of them. The setup was impeccable with flashing lights and strobes that seemed to pulse in time with the music the atmosphere was electric with people from all walks of life letting loose and having the time of their lives i saw couples dancing together you know slow dancing laughing and spinning to the beat at the same time other groups were busting out choreographed moves and I even saw a few solo dancers, you know, lost in their own little world of music and, and movement. And all of this at the same time. But the most exciting part of the whole experience was when a spontaneous dance-off broke out. I mean, imagine a group of strangers coming together to show off their best moves, all while dancing to different music. It was like a beautiful, magical mess with people spinning and flipping and waving their arms in the air, and yet somehow it all came together in perfect harmony. And for sing-along songs like Sweet Caroline, it is hilarious to hear the people belting out the words without the background music to kind of help break that out. Uh, all the while, you know, other people are dancing to a different song than others. Very confusing, a lot of strange looks, and definitely very fun. The moment that stood out to me the most was when a group of people somehow managed to sync up their dance moves despite listening to different music. It was like they'd been practicing together for weeks, but that was not the case. In reality, they'd only just met on the dance floor and, and it just came together. The energy was palpable, and I found myself cheering them on along you know, with the rest of the crowd. All in all, the silent disco party on the cruise ship was an unforgettable experience that I'll be talking about for years to come. Uh, a lot of ships have them. Uh, it, you know, it's a true celebration of music, of movement, of community, all set against the stunning backdrop of the open ocean and all in silence to everybody else. And in my case, it was all in the buff, so that was awesome. If you have never tried a silent disco, I highly recommend that you give it a try. It's a lot of fun and can give you a lot of laughs. So if you've ever had a favorite dance moment, ever been to a silent disco, or just like to dance, let me know in the comments below. And if you like what you see, I would ask you to consider liking and subscribing. It's free for you, helps the channel out greatly. 
And if you want to see more fun cruise adventures, be sure to check out some of my other videos. So dance on whether to what plays in the headphones or just marching to your own drum, just dance. <laughs>